What is going on everybody? So today we are going to be looking at how to disassemble your Set Me L rifle. Try to make this a short video, short and sweet and to the point. It's pretty awful weather outside so I figured it'd be a good day for cleaning rifles. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll disassemble this thing. I'm going to start off by removing our rear stock pins. Pull those out. We will insert them into the stock. We'll shimmy our stock off of the receiver. Have your recoil spring. Now you can pull your trigger pin out. Excuse me, push your trigger pin out. Alright, now there's no place to put this pin, so don't lose your trigger pin. Now what we're going to do, rotate our safety selector all the way up, give it a good little wiggle, push back on it a little bit, and find that sweet spot where our trigger selector can slide out at. Sometimes you do have to fiddle with it a little bit, but it's no big deal. It's just all about lining up the sheet metal. See on the set me models, you do not have a way to kind of help guide you or see where exactly the cutout is. There we go. Rotate that until we find our little nub. All right. So now we have our safety selector out. Remove that and we can pull our trigger assembly out and now you're left with your receiver what we'll do is we want to remove the bolt we'll pull back on our charging handle and here's our bolt and carrier so now your upper assembly is ready for cleaning take your bolt what you're going to want to do is rotate your bolt counterclockwise Let's go ahead and push it in. Rotate counterclockwise. Your bolt will fall right off. Now you can continue rotating your key. Uh, it is under spring pressure, so be careful. You can remove your key, remove your firing pin and spring, and there you have it. All disassembled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hurry up, get this. Uh, rifle all cleaned up and I'll be right back for reassembly. All right, now that I got my parts all cleaned up, we'll start by putting our handguard back on. This usually takes a minute to fiddle with. What you're trying to do is get this heat shield to sit in that front trunnion. Now we can assemble our bolt. What I'm gonna start with is the carrier. Get our firing pin and spring and insert that into our carrier. And then we'll take our key, insert that and rotate it. I want it straight up and down for right now. And whenever we put our bolt on, what we're gonna try and do is locate our extractor down. So once the extractor is down, we can look 
over here and start to rotate the bolt while pulling out on the bolt. And we will rotate this until it clicks into position while maintaining a gap right here. If you press your bolt and it snaps back in, you'll have to disassemble and restart the assembly process. Now, I'm gonna get yelled at by somebody, I'm sure, uh, but my hands are oily and this bolt here has new springs and it is tight as a booger. So what I'm gonna do is just take my channel locks here and I'm not using a lot of force. I'm just twist it a little bit and now our bolt is back on. See, I got a little left in there to clean up. But we can start assembly now. Go ahead and drop my bolt in our upper. Give it a little flick. Make sure our bolt is seated. That's good. That means our rollers are up here and locked in the forward position. We will take our lower and start fiddling with it to try to get it back in new position. Try to line up our selector switch. All right. There we go. Selector switch is in. We can put our pin in. I believe it went, yes, this way. You have to overcome this little spring force right here. All right. Now we can reinsert our recoil spring. I want to make sure it sets on our carrier. Reinsert our stock. Put our pins back in the rifle. Going to function check. And there you go. That is how to disassemble your set me out and reassemble. Guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by today. If y'all enjoyed what y'all saw, hit like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all later.